Hello everybody, you thanks for tuning in today's 5 day forecast, before I get on with 5 day forecast, just want to talk about the advertising, there will usually be a video ad overlaying my videos here at gabsweathervids.com, please play those video ads because you'll be supporting gabsweathervids.com if you do manifest on a video ad, there'll just be a general ad which you can click through to the advertiser if you're interested in what the advertiser is offering. Also, I want to talk about websites where I get the charts from that I'm using for my videos. It's wettercentral.de where we get these uh, synoptic charts from, and you can find that on my links page. But I'll also be using charts from weatheroutlook.com, and you can also find that website on my links page as well. And you get to the links page by clicking on the links tab at the bottom of this page, going through to the links page, and then you'll see the links that you want. Just click on them and you'll go through to these websites. So we're going to be using the facts charts today, Met Office facts charts for uh, this five day forecast and the reason we're doing that is because uh, these facts charts have been interpreted by the uh, forecasters at Met Office uh, from the generic computers and they're quite interesting because they have lots of these little fronts and uh, troughs and shortwave features uh, added and you don't necessarily necessarily get those on the generic uh, computer model charts and when uh, we're doing a forecast that's got a lot of these little uh, troughs little fronts little shortwave features involved it is quite useful to use these charts because you can see exactly where those uh, little uh, troughs and uh, shortwaves are going to be so uh, this is the uh, Met Office facts chart for midnight tonight and uh, that is showing that we've got a little front here right across southern parts of the country and another little area of low pressure moving in from the east. So the situation really today is that we're looking at uh, outbreaks of rain starting to move into the far southeast of the British Isles. But for the rest of the country, it's actually a mainly dry day today across the bulk of the country. There's not much rain going on, but there's a lot of cloud in the north and in the east and the southern and central parts of the country, in the east and the south and the southeast, I should say. Quite a lot of cloud in those areas. But uh, further to the north and to the northwest, we've got a fair amount of sunshine. Actually, the far northwest Scotland having a lovely day today with lots of sunshine shine and very warm temperatures of up to 20 degrees at 68 Fahrenheit but the rest of the country under that cloud is a good deal cooler than that at just a 14 15 or 16 degrees that's not too bad really for time of year but it's certainly cooler than it is out to the northwest now overnight we're going to find these little uh, features here moving in from the east so we are going to be bringing some cloud and rain into uh, many southern and central parts of England through the course of the night. Some of that rain could be heavy and possibly even a little bit thundery in places as well maybe giving another 25 millimetres in some places that's uh, over an inch of rain and that will just add to the flooding problems that we've got in some of these southern parts of the country. Further north we're going to have clear skies under this uh, little ridge here and uh, that's going to allow the temperature just drop quite low. It's going to be quite cold tonight over Scotland with temperatures possibly down to uh, maybe freezing in one or two places. But a mild night further south with temperatures holding up at around 6 to 10. Now going through to lunchtime on Thursday and this is the fact chart for lunchtime tomorrow and we've got this weather front still lying across these southern parts of the country so we'll still be bringing cloud and rain in across these uh, central southern parts being the heavy rain really I think probably south of the M4 but it's a little bit uncertain exactly how far north or south this little front is going to be but uh, nevertheless I think we'll be bringing in some cloud and uh, light rain uh, across these uh, southeastern parts of the country through the day. Heavier rain becoming confined gradually to Wales and southwest England. So the rain does ease off from the east as we go through the day. Further north, quite a bit of dry weather with a fair amount of uh, sunny spells around the west. But then we start to run into this uh, weather front moving into the north of Scotland, bringing more cloud and outbreaks of rain into the far north of Scotland later on day. This front becomes important as we go further on. Temperatures tomorrow will be up to around uh, 16, 17, maybe 18 degrees in the northwest of Scotland, so that's still pretty warm, but a little bit down on that of today. But further south, under this cloud and rain, it's going to be quite cold, really, with uh, temperatures of just 10 to 12. That's 50 to 54 Fahrenheit, and is below average for the time of the year. Going into uh, Friday, this is the facts chart 
for uh, lunchtime on Friday and we see this weather front has become very light uh, become very weak across the southern counties so bring cloud and very light patchy rain along the south coast and through the channel uh, but uh, it's a pretty weak feature but we've got this cold front moving down from the north that'll be taking a band of cloud and increasingly light rain down across the country but uh, the rain will be heavy across Scotland and Northern Ireland in the morning but that rain will get lighter as it moves southwards across England and Wales through the afternoon and then we're opening the doors to this northerly wind and that's going to be bringing in much colder air to Scotland, Northern Ireland and Northern England behind this cold front with sunshine and showers, those showers turning increasingly wintry over the Scottish hills. Temperatures on uh, Friday probably up to around 13 or 14 across England and Wales but dropping behind that cold front becoming very cool indeed for the time of the year at just 5, 6 or 7 into a Saturday and the weather front is still lying here across this south across the south coast and through the channel so I think we could be bringing more outbreaks of rain across these southern counties on Saturday and into the channel lines as well so that rain may be quite heavy further north it's a case of uh, sunshine and showers and uh, some of those showers turning wintry in Scotland and maybe a little bit of winteriness turning up over the Scottish mountains now the snow really we're talking about over the hills and the mountains but don't be surprised to see a uh, few flakes coming down to lower levels across parts of Scotland at times the rest of the country as uh, such cases of sunshine and showers and probably quite a lot of cloud around really on Saturday it does look like being quite a cloudy day temperatures on the cold side for early May well below average at around five or six degrees at best in the north sevens eights and nines in the south that's well below average and overnight as the showers die back to the coast and uh, the skies clear i think we will find a really widespread and severe and damaging frost developing on saturday night into saturday morning and a usually cold night i think with temperatures down as low as minus five degrees in place that really is very very severe that frost for early may and could well do damage to uh, fruit blossom to uh, any plants or flowers that to have that you put out so really uh, definitely a night for covering over your dental plants and flowers and fruit blossom uh, if you can on Saturday night and usually cold night to come on Saturday night into a Sunday and well we've got this little trough coming down from the north here that could just bring more in way of showers I think many of us start off on a dry fine and frosty note on Sunday morning but uh, the clouds then bubble up and we see quite a lot of showers developing through the course of the day some of those showers could be heavy and again they'll be wintry particularly over the higher ground in Scotland maybe a little bit of wintriness turning up over the tops of the Pennines as well it's going to be a cold day or a very cool day a cold day temperatures well below average at around fours fives and sixes in the north uh, sevens eights nines in the south and those temperatures do drop of course as the showers come along and then finally for bank holiday monday and now we're back to the uh, generic chart from the uh, ecmwf computer board because we uh, can't go any further out than sunday with facts charts and uh, really we're looking at this little low pressure probably coming in from the atlantic bringing some cloud and rain into far west areas on uh, on monday uh, afternoon some of that rain could be quite heavy the rest of the country having a mix of sunshine and showers probably a lot of cloud around again on bank holiday monday and some of those showers again wintry over the higher ground of the north temperatures still below average and then having a quick look at the uh, charts from the weatheroutlook.com just seeing how all this uh, affects your area and um, there's the sunshine that we're expecting for the north and west of scotland today but if we go uh, through these charts we can see that we bring some cloud into the southeast through the course of the day and generally these east are seeing a lot more cloud here than uh, this is showing i think now as we go through the night we're going to find the cloud and the rain moving in uh, from the east and the southeast there it is showing up there and then as we go through into a thursday where we find that cloud and rain uh, becoming heavy and widespread across these southern counties some quite uh, heavy rain down there for a time Gradually, the rain will ease off from the southeast, but still remain with light rain in the southeast, kind of a heavier rain becoming confined to this southwestern part of the country. Further north, a good deal of fine weather. Temperatures, as I say, on the warm side for western Scotland, but pretty cold and uh, below average across these wet parts of the south. 
Going into a Friday, a mesma band of rain moving down from the north. Your eyes aren't seeing you. That is snow up there across the north of Scotland. Behind that cold front, the air does turn colder. England away, of probably not having too bad a day on a Friday. But that cloud and rain will move south. was turning light and patchy as it uh, does so. And uh, these southern counties, I think, could have some cloud and light rain as well. I mean, uh, going into uh, Saturday, I think we are going to find, uh, once again, a fair number of showers across many parts of the country. Light rain, or perhaps even some heavier rain, along the southern counties. Chance of wintriness over the hills and mountains of Scotland and at Northern Ireland. Don't be surprised to see one or two flakes of snow coming down to lower levels over Scotland. Temperatures well below average. Very cold indeed for early May in single figures for all of us. A widespread and severe frost on a Saturday night. A Damaging frost as well. Sunday, when it's a case of sunshine and showers really developing across many parts of the country after a dry, sunny, and frosty start, temperatures remaining very uh, much on the cool side or the cold side below average for all of us. Wintering is possible over the higher ground. And then finally into a bank holiday Monday. Well, again, it's a very showery day across many parts of the country. Another damaging frost, I think, early on a bank holiday Monday morning. Then the showers bubble up, widespread showers developing, and maybe longer spells of rain coming into these western parts of the country later on in the day. So we really are looking at a uh, uh, very uh, poor bank holiday weekend, I think. But the emphasis for right now is on the rain coming in across southern counties tonight and tomorrow. Could be more. Uh, flooding across those southern areas, rain could be heavy and possibly thundering. And then we're looking at colder weather coming down from the north over the weekend. It is going to be a cold back holiday weekend and usually cold with those severe and damaging night frosts. Very unusually uh, cold nights to come over the weekend. Sunshine and showers by day and probably a lot of cloud around as well. So more in way of a cloud than sunshine and there will be showers around too. Temperatures below average by day, very cold by night. Showers and it really is not going to be a very uh, inspiring bank holiday weekend at all I'm afraid. That's it for now, thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed my 5 day forecast come back on Saturday when we do the 7 day forecast, there will be more updates through the course of Thursday and Friday as well so keep coming back, that's all for now bye bye for now